Hello, welcome back to Crowd Across. My name is Usser. We are making our way to the Hermit's Hideway and Fort Dragonia. We've got to go talk to that uh, Dragoon, former Dragoon. Technically, I've already done this, and I was halfway through my episode when I realized that for some reason, OBS is still messing up my mic. So, we're asking Korcha if we can borrow his boat, and he says he has conditions. I'll try not to burn through this, but I just did this conversation when I realized that my microphone was not being picked up. Uh, if we find the dragon tier, we have to give it to him. Condition one. The other condition, once this ruckus is over, um... What was that? Stop mumbling, speak up, I can't hear ya. I want you to be my wife! What did you just say? I want you to be my wife! <laughs> Don't mess with me. I'm gonna kick your ass so hard you'll kiss the moons. Not joking. To tell you the truth, um... It was love at first sight. Do you know who... Boy, you know who I am, don't you? Yeah, you're some kind of thief, ain't you? Don't you worry. I don't care about your past, and I don't want you to feel forced. That's literally a condition to use your boat, and you don't want her to feel forced. It's forced! We can wait until all this fuss is over, so please. I will say refuse. Don't. I want Kid and myself to get together. We should hook up. Don't marry Korcha. Oof! This is none of your business. It's my own problem. Understood, but this ain't something I can agree to on a whim. I'll consider it, but not until I sell the score with Lynx. It's about the best I can promise. I can't guarantee you anything more. Alright, that's all I need for now. I'll lend you the boat. What was that Glenn guy saying earlier? Something about going to see an old man on a small island to the east. Yep. Be careful with yourself from now on. Just remember that your life is not just your own anymore. You're carrying my wife to be. Ooh, goosebumps. Do you want me to come with you? Yeah, it, it's fine. I need all the allies I can get. Um, you're not coming with us, though. I'm putting Kid second because she has the Pilfer ability. I want her to attack before Potial, but, uh, yeah. I'm just landing my boat. Don't you sink it. And now he's gonna go home. Yeah, just did this. Just did this. So I have, in my window setting, I have it turned off. Um, the ability for Windows to adjust like settings and programs and when i get a windows update it doesn't matter that i said no you can't do it it does it anyway and it's pissing me off it's, it's like having another kid with these windows updates no you can't have candy and you turn your back and they go get the candy anyway that's what it's like with my obs settings it's like no windows you're not allowed to change anything in obs okay you can't change anything in any programs well i had an update so i'm gonna do it anyway fuck you stop it all right again remember i just did this so i'm, tr I'm trying to be good and not just burn through the conversation. What happened here? Did Lynx do this? Uh, that's correct. Hmm, maybe not. The correct answer is, I did this under Mr. Lynx's orders. I'm not gonna try and do the, the French accent. It, It's bad, guys. It's bad. I can try and get away with an Irish accent after living there for two years, but French? No. Don't. Don't ask me to do that. Did you miss me? Not you again. Excuse me, Serge, but do you know why I burned this place to the ground? Um, cause you're evil? Tell me. First of all, to teach you all a lesson. Second of all, to get rid of the geezer who lives here. He's an ally of the Acacia Dragoons, and I hear he's quite skilled. Disappointed to see that the geezer isn't here. I wonder where he went. And one more thing. Mr. Lynx gave me another order. Slow down your pursuit. Here I go. This, she's not taking this fight seriously. She's just trying to slow us down a little bit so Lynx can get where he wants to. 
but she has a black element in a element so um she's gonna get roughed up by surge in a hurry maybe that's what she wanted maybe she likes the rough stuff i don't know and i'm not judging but she's gonna get wrecked also tell me what you guys think i turned this to borderless window mode instead of full screen and it seems like everything is going smoother with my frame rate maybe it's just i'm noticing a smoother frame rate Maybe it is a smoother frame rate, but it seems like it's doing a lot better performance, really. And she's still not dead. Boom. Over. Um. Three, one, one. Max healing. Boom. We're good to go because of recover all, which is amazing. Really a strong. Please turn back now as she spanks her butt cheeks. She is nothing but bad luck. She'll bring you nothing but misfortune to your life. Rude. Be one of Lynx's minions. Actually, I see that you are not. It must have been that munchkin that just flew away. Dude has no eyes. His eyebrows are so bushy that they have obscured his vision. Mr. Dell informed me that Lynx and the General were headed to Fort Dragonia. I played it safe and went into hiding for a while. It looks like Lynx did pay me a visit. I'm sure the General has no idea what happened here. Lynx is the one behind all this. That's why he has a cane. Because he's let his eyebrows get so bushy he's blind. I had a feeling something like this might happen. That's why I made sure to build a sturdy underground stronghold. Stronghold underground. I believe it should still be intact. Are you here to ask me questions? Come, there's no need to be shy. <laughs> so, he's former military, and he built a stronghold underground. He's a prepper. <laughs> In this case, it worked out. One of the few times a prepper actually had the right idea. So you've met Miss Riddell and Glenn. Yeah. Hi. Once wielded a sword as a proud member of the Acacia Dragoons, Glenn's father Garai, the blacksmith Zappa, and I used to tear up the battlefield. But that was a good 15 years ago. When Garai lost his life on the Central Continent, I vowed to become his son's guardian. I officially retired four years ago, after I could no longer see because of my eyebrows. After Dario received his father's sword, the Einlanzer. I've been here ever since, living a carefree life away from the rest of the world. However, Dario is no longer with us. Life is so unpredictable. It was then that Lynx approached General Viper. He spoke of the legendary treasure, the Frozen Flame, which is able to heal all illnesses and fulfill any dreams. I don't know what this man Lynx is plotting, but I believe General Viper intends to overthrow the nation of Pore with the power of this legendary ju jewel. Pore is a nation governed by militarism. It has brought suffering to many people on the central continent of Zanan. Perhaps the general envisions a bright and peaceful world, much like Guardia was at one time. Okay, hold on. The central government here is controlled by General Viper and the Dragoons. How is that different than being a military government? Or is he planning to find the answer as to why we have to continue to hurt and kill each other since antiquity? In any case, I no longer wish to involve myself with in any conflicts. Boy, I can't read. Besides, there's no way I would want to face General Viper in battle. Young one, should you plan to engage in battle with Lynx, beware. He is a fearsome man. I suggest you rest here for the night and leave in the morning. There are many cursed spirits wandering the seas around here. Rumor has it that they attack ships and suck the souls out of humans. Heard rumors about this cursed ghost ship. What? A ghost ship? You trying to scare me? Don't make me laugh. Do not take the sea lightly, young lady. Mankind knows only the land and the surface of the sea. No man can truly know what hides beneath the waves. Uh, fish? 
I mean, sure, there are various sizes, but it's fish. That's what's in the sea. Come on. Alright, whatever. See you later, Captain Eyebrows. Uh, thick fog makes visibility near zero. I don't care. Head into it. I have to. That's where I need to go. And it's a boat with automatic oars, apparently. Because, yeah, why make the crew do that? Those are big oars. And they stopped. Because apparently they have a sensor and they go, hey, there's a boat nearby. Stop the oars. We would want to smash them. Could this be the ghost ship? I don't know, could it? Go on there. Where are we waiting for? You're right. We won't be able to navigate our boat in this fog. How are you guys making fog, by the way? Like, that seems kind of an advanced skill for a boat. Is this thing really a ghost ship? No. It's a pirate ship. Yar. Who are you? Make way for Cap Fargo. Seem to be a bit young for one of Lynx's subordinates. Well, who cares? What do you want from us? That's up to you. But first things first. What is your intention? Uh don't play stupid we know you're trying to get to mount pyre we saw general vipers and link ships anchored nearby are you trying to deliver them a message is that it that's a load of bull we don't work for them we're out to get them get in our way and i'll kick your ass so hard you'll kiss the moons i like kid <laughs> are you serious explain yourselves all right here's a short summary of everything that's happened in this video game a video game? No. So that explains why you're after Lynx. What's a video game? We're just pirates. Don't you know you're risking your lives? Don't you recognize the danger associated with Lynx? He's a monster. A cold-blooded monster. An incarnation of death. Rawr. Be frank with you, we've had our share of encounters with Lynx too. Well, of course, you wouldn't be able to describe him accurately if you hadn't. That was a long time ago. Ever since then, we've had to disguise ourselves as this ghost ship. So you're going to face Lynx, huh? That's easy to say, but... Cut the crap and get to the point. You're awesome, kid! Bring out our you-know-what. Hey, 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 this is a fucking family show. Do not whip it out. All right, Captain Fargo. He's going to whip it out. Sorry, guys. Close your eyes. I just want to see if youngsters can patch up to the likes of Lynx. Just making sure you're not all talk. Looks like they're ready. Let's see what you can do. And he attacks us with ghosts. I guess they really are a ghost ship, huh? Was that the best you could do, old man? Come on. That was easy. Three, one, two. Recover all used. We're fully healed. That was nothing. Just loosening you up. Time to get serious. Polly! Polly does not want a cracker. That's a fucking pterodactyl, not a parrot. Down goes Polly. All right, we are healed up and ready to go. Not bad, mateys. We'll meet again, is what he said. How do you speak, pterodactyl? How do you learn that? 
that's not in Rosetta Stone. Stronger than I expected, you got me blood boiling. I Ouch. I, I don't, I'm lost guys. I'm not sure how he's still standing. Oh, it took three hit points. Now that smarts. Jesus. Oh, and she didn't even get anything anyway. Okay, max healing. Boink. We're not quite full, but we're about to go to sleep. Not bad, but keep in mind, we be pirates. Huh? Yeah, a blurp. Surge. Blurp. It's a tranquilizer made from jellyfish stingers. You lovers will sleep for a while. Blurp. Well, that's that. Stick these land lovers in the hold. So they're still assuming we're the problem when we killed their ghosts, we kicked the shit out of their pterodactyl, and we beat up their captain. Meow. Huh? Are you all right? You don't look so well. Be on your guard. There's something going on outside. All right. I shall prepare for it. Stand and watch ain't easy. What's up with the fog today? You can't even see the water out there. You guys were making the fog. I ain't scared. Look behind you. Oh, they're already on your ship, dude. Something's up. The undead have arrived. Oh, who would I guess? I got bones from the skeletons. What are these monsters doing here? What's going on? I don't know, but I need to cure my poison, and I think I've got the flu as well. All right, I'm healed. So we are not going to finish the ghost ship storyline. We'll we'll make some progress on it. Um, but we we aren't going to get through this whole thing this episode. There's a note. Key duty is a big responsibility. Hi. Arr, look like you're all right. I thought you were goners when that monster went in. Think the almighty kid would go down that easy? Anyway, what the bloody hell is going on here? Sorry, but I don't know that. Uh, before I knew what was going on, I was attacked. Go ahead, I won't stop you. Well, yeah, you are in no position to stop me now. Like, I should help him, but there's a door here. Hey, what's up? How'd you guys get out? Back in the hold, this sucker's mine. Um... Okay, you have fun with that. I'm gonna go get this treasure. Aqua Ball. Yeah, whatever. I'm taking him out. So because Surge is doing bonus damage, you should make it a point to use him every time his stamina is full. He is really tearing these things up. Like his level two attack is as damaging as Potion's level three. So, Anytime he's got full stamina, use him. Because everything that you're going to find that's undead is going to be weak against uh, the white element. Could have taken that thing myself, you know. But thanks anyway. Um, key? I don't have it. Oh, fuck off. I don't need to talk to you then. Let's save this guy's life. It's locked. God damn it. Really? Really? They're all locked? All of them? All right, let's start by going this direction. We'll hit the crossbones instead of the wraith. Maybe he'll despawn after I do this. Or maybe I just got myself into two consecutive battles before doing anything else. Now we're talking. 
kid is strength resistance magic resistance that's that's the one you get after a while and now until i get a growth level i will get no more attributes shit that's actually really good that i got iron i need iron for my next level weapons like i haven't got everybody the copper stuff but the more iron i have the better so thanks for the help who are you oh yeah you're the land lovers we threw in the hold but how did i guess it doesn't matter so what do you plan to go now a key i have no idea who has it thanks for nothing it's locked. Ah, oh, I thought I could get in the door before he got me. It got me! It's right there waiting! Damn it all. I want the treasure, so I'm gonna take it out. I think I'm gonna play till I get the key, and then we'll save it and in this episode. Gotcha. Oh, now he's up. Key, sorry, I'm not in charge. Okay. Took me a while to find that my first playthrough. What the hell's going on? I don't know. Okay, we saved someone else. Let's get our treasure. Capsule. Uh, dude, you okay now? What the hell's going on? No. We gotta save this guy now. Nice. I've got enough iron to make Kid, Potial, and Surge's iron weapons. Oh, you missed every attack, Potial. You suck. But that's good news. So, like, when I get... I don't have the key. Jesus. Who does? Ah, I was hoping I could get away with it. <laughs> Now what? You can't get through here. Monsters all over the deck. What? A key? Hey, mateys. Who's on key duty? Oh, I am. Got the key for the door downstairs, huh? Here you go. Surge received the key. Thank you. That wasn't so hard, was it? Yeah. Come on, guys. Help me out here. Work with me, people. Work with me. Shouldn't be too many random monsters. I've killed just about everything, but we are going to go back. We are going to save the game, and that's where we're going to wrap this one up. Hopefully I don't get attacked on my way back there. So what I really need is I need a growth level because I have run out of attributes to gain. Anyway, that will be all for this one. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell so you can see whenever I post new things. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Catch you on the next one. Bye!